Hey, good morning, friends. I am here in Wyoming, someplace. I don't have uh, Wi Fi to be able to do a live Facebook stream, so I'm recording this video. So, I'm gonna break down my bivouac. Here we go. This is my North Face Cat's Eye sleeping bag. It's uh, real comfy. Let's see what it says. It's good to down to 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And man, I am so glad I bought the sleeping bag because it's comfy. And it's uh, like waterproof. He said the outside shell gets wet from the heat from the inside, my body, then the cold there, condensation. It's uh, dry on the inside. Really got to shake it off well, which I've already done as best as possible to get the water off, otherwise could get that uh, over. So let me fold this puppy up, and uh, we'll break down the cot. So the mummy head opening is that, and you want to fold towards the opening to get the air out as much as possible. These North Face sleeping bag and other high-end sleeping bag. The material they use allows it to be small and compressible, so you can pack it light and small. There you go. Comes with a nice uh, waterproof uh, bag. Trick is uh, trying to get the old the ends in without blowing it back up because you got to compact it that's a lot of energy so not too bad right yeah I purchased Walmart sleeping bags before nothing like a high-end sleeping bag just got to save up the money and Bend a little bit more. Get it All right, so now let's get the cap on the end because we're gonna compress this down smaller. Because something smaller is better than bigger, especially when it comes to packing. There are these straps, just three of them on this particular bag, and you just gotta pull on it to compact it. Ooh. There you go. Fairly light. All right, so that's my sleeping bag, North Face. Now for the Helinox uh, high cot. Let's break this puppy down. This is super light. Check this out. Super light. Hold it with two fingers. All right. One leg. Man, this one's tight. All right, I'm gonna skip that one for now. Two legs. What the? What the? Uh, there we go. Now for the. Aluminum uh, collapsible poles, super light. You must use like aircraft grade aluminum, which is strong and light. Slide that puppy out. Keep 
that together. This fabric is uh, super strong. I believe it's rated good to some of you, maybe 350 pounds, which I doubt. Maybe in the 200s, this will do fine. It's tough material. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and bundled up square. It's like uh, making the bunk at uh, Fort Knox basic training camp. Basic training camp. Get an early up call for PT. You just sleep on top. Top of the bunk. That way you don't have to hurry up and make it. All good. Smarter ways of doing a lot of things as needed. All right. Let's collapse the legs. Putting these uh, legs in the bag can get tricky on the third one because it's a snug fit. So you gotta fold these up just right and place it in the bag to zipper up fairly easily. That's two, the third one challenge. Man, that was a great night's sleep. Ugh. Let's see if I can close the zipper fairly easily. Voila. Thank you, Helinox. Awesome stuff. All right. So, got that. Now for the plane fly. I got lots of uh, condensation on this rain fly, so I'm going to have to shake it off out of view. Uh, view. Gotta get somehow smarter because I put the rain fly over Penny and myself on the cot, but the body heat rising up and the cold there creates condensation on the inside of the tarp. The outside is waterproof, so is the inside. But nevertheless, the condensation that builds up on the inside, you know, that you touch the rain fly, or whenever enough condensation has formed, it's going to drop. So, a little wetness. I like to be completely dry, so I got to figure out what best to do. I could leave an opening, more of an opening, sticking my head out to let the, especially the breathing. That's where most of the moisture comes from. Out into the atmosphere, not uh, in, inside underneath the rainfly. 
but I like some privacy. I don't know. Again, need to fold everything up tight and 90 so it fits back in the bag. Easier. This rain fly is made by Gold Armor. Off eBay. Again, need to compress this baby out. Get the air out so it fits in the bag easier. Not a super neat uh, fold, but I have to do with a baggie. Yeah. Oh, what a what a mess! What a mess! Come on, baby. Um, unlike the sleeping bag, this you gotta get it in nice and neat. It's a small bag, man. Small bag. I put the rain flag just in case uh, it was gonna rain last night, but if I had Wi-Fi, I knew the weather, no rain. Probably next time I, I won't put the rain fly up, covering up Penny and myself. One less work, especially after a long day's ride. You know, 800 miles, 1,000 miles, 600 miles. Whatever mile is just long for anyone. Okay. All right. The anticipation. Can you do it? If you're uh, camping on soil, it comes with stakes, so you get the stake down the ends. This uh, rain fly can be used uh, over a string if you tie it to two trees to make like a, a, a V, canopy. This Helium X cot fits just right inside my Indian trunk, so very nice. Sleeping bag on my rack on the truck.
Alright, good whack down. Let me show you something. That's my selfie stick right there. I got from, uh, ooh, it may have been Yosemite or Yellowstone, I forget. Beautiful, beautiful stick. So one of the things that I recommend for those of you like to camp, uh, packing up, well, camper, no camping, but when you got a lot of gear like I do, these are rock straps. They're worth its money. I mean, thanks Len Neal for suggesting rock straps when I went cross country riding 2018. So, there. One thing I try to do, remember, even when I'm tired at gas stops, I'll do a walk around, make sure everything's tidy. See, this is loose right here. Strap will go flying around, so I need to uh, tidy that up, bundle up. Excuse me. All right, God, I love you, Penny. That's one beautiful bike, man. Don't forget, also at stops, check your tires. Make sure they're doing good because uh, I had to replace my back tire on this ride, which is all good. <sighs> Brand new Dunlop Elite Force. It's already getting somewhere like it should. All right. Cheers, everybody. God bless and stay safe out there, whether you're riding or driving. God bless.